There's another uh, fight going on, which is for the DNC chair position. Your colleague, Keith Ellison, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Democrat of Minnesota, has picked up the support of Chuck Schumer, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. I want you to take a listen to what uh, Congressman Ellison had to say about guns in 2014. Then why doesn't face. your party come out against the Second Amendment? Bill, I, the well, I sure wish they would. I sure wish they really? would. Really? Because I never yeah. hear anybody in the Democratic Party say that. So that's the, your candidate for a candidate for DNC chair saying that he sure wishes the Democratic Party would come out against the Second Amendment. Is that the appropriate leadership for the DNC? Uh, well, that's not uh, my decision entirely to make. I really don't have a, a horse in that fight. Um, and so the DNC members are going to have to make that decision. But you want to leave the Democratic Party in the House. Don't, I mean, you must have a that, position. That, that's not my position. M my position on guns and gun violence is not to get rid of the Second Amendment. We need people who, can, who are sportsmen and can hunt and fish. We need to have background checks. We need to close the gun show loophole. We need to make sure terrorists don't have guns. And we need to close the Charleston loophole. Those are the things we are pushing. And I was on the House floor when we were having this sit-in on guns. I think that's an important discussion we need to have, but not to give away the Second Amendment. I don't think that's appropriate. But on the issue of gun violence, why do we have violence in our inner cities? It's economics. We, it's, it's poverty issues. We, this economic message should drive everything we talk about as Democrats. Poverty, middle class wages, gun violence, things that happen in, in uh, rural America. These are economic issues that the Democratic Party has lost its way, and if we want these Trump voters to come back, we need to start talking about these bread and butter fundamental issues that make us Democrats.